everyone, it's Fantasia. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my creative sim mods and my defaults. So this has been requested and I thought I would finally go ahead and do it. Before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out and this one goes to Mary Gamer. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you love the new profile picture. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So the first thing we're gonna start with is my creative sim background. This one is the live-in creative sim background. However, the creator that did upload this doesn't have it up anymore. Luckily, someone did re-upload all of the creative sim backgrounds, but it's just simply in a sims file share post with every single cast background they could find from that creator. So that's why I wanted to specifically mention the name of the one I have. So if you want this one specifically, it's the one called Livin. But honestly, so many of them are amazing. I recommend just downloading a bunch of them if you like the sound of it and then just go look at it in your game. So the next one is the Stand Still in Create a Sim mod. This is a must have for me. As you guys can see, my sim here just completely stands still and it just makes it so much easier for me to create my sims. I will never take this out. One thing, I did switch up the one that I had. I actually had one where the eyes didn't even move and I don't know, I kind of want the eyes to move around and for them to blink and stuff so they don't completely just feel dead inside. So I am going to link down below this one where the eyes continue to move but everything else won't move and it just makes it so much easier to like adjust things even when you're dressing them. They're not just like swaying back and forth. It makes it easier if you have like a lot of custom sliders and you're really trying to get in there and like customize the body. The next mod I want to share with you guys, I also wanted to show you over on Patreon. So this is the Controlled Positions Create a Sim Tuning mod. And I'm just going to show you guys the one feature I absolutely love from this mod, but there's more to it. So that's why I wanted to come over here. Full control of your sim's position in Create a Sim in all categories. No more automatic position change when choosing CC or its swatches. Now the character will stand in the position in which you put him face back, sideways, or face. It's only up to you to decide. And then there is a custom fingernails position, which I'm going to show you guys. And yeah, I just think this is really, really awesome. You don't have to worry about your sims jumping into different positions depending on what you're doing. And my favorite thing is absolutely the hand position thing. So when you have this mod and you're doing your sims nails, or if you're putting rings on them or something, that's another really good use for this. They're going to put their hands in the front here. And I just think it makes the experience like so, so, so much better. I don't know. I love this. And you know, a lot of us use some custom rings where it adds like a whole bunch of rings on the finger and it'll just be so much easier for you to actually see the rings that you're putting onto your sims. Like I have this one here and then you can just go ahead and go here and then you can actually see them all to actually be like, okay, do I like these? The next one is the more columns mod. You can see here I have four columns instead of two. You can also get a fifth one, which I've been debating on just because, you know, there's a lot to go through here. Even if you don't use CC, there's so many packs now and if you own them all like all of this is just packs we're not even at the cc yet and the more cast column just makes it so much easier i would definitely recommend going for the four columns or even the fifth as well so the next mod i want to share with you guys is the no randomized accessories and makeup so this is another must have for me. We're going to add a new sim here and you can see they don't have any makeup on and no accessories. And usually I feel like I literally like the first sim that I would randomize would get like so many random accessories on them, the craziest makeup. And it's just kind of annoying to like take it all off. Oh, she's actually cute. This personally makes my life easier. I don't know if you're like a creative sim person. It's just, it just takes away an extra step for you. The next mod is the more trait slots mod. I love this. You can see it's adding an extra trait slot. She's currently posing. Like get a girl. <laughs> and it does give an extra trait slot for every age. So it's not just the adults. And this is nice because I feel like we don't have enough. I really wish the Sims team would actually upgrade this. I feel like we need more than three. And I know now we can also gain traits in game, but still having this extra slot here just to give your Sim more personality right off the bat is honestly a big thing for me. Another thing I want to show you guys is the unlimited likes and dislikes. I feel like this was fitting to put in a creative sim video, but with this, you can see, look at this. You can just keep on going. Like you, you, it's just, you have so much options here. If you use some mods that allows you to add even more likes and dislikes, like this is with Wicked Whims or Wonderful Whims, whichever one you use, you'll get this. And it 
it's so nice. Like, you can just keep going, you can have them like and dislikes, so many different things. You don't have to worry about there being any cap, so you can just do whatever you want to do. Maybe your sim likes a lot of things, or maybe they hate everything. So you're gonna have the option to just be creative with that. Next up, my default skin. So I use the Halo default skin. It might be kind of hard to be honest. I'm gonna grab a new sim because she probably has a whole bunch of stuff on her where you can't even really tell. You definitely can even tell on him. Let me, <laughs> he literally has a green beard and everything like killing it. Okay, let's just take that off. I feel like, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. It's just smoother. It's definitely very Maxis match. So if you like that vibe, then I think you'll like this. I usually layer it, but I like to just have a better base, you know, but I don't like to have this default skin that really, really changes everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I want it, like, see, it's just, it's just a smooth, like canvas. Like it's just a nice base to work with. It's going to look good layered over top of like any, like, other skins you use, you know? It's very rare that I just leave it like this, but if I had to delete all my non-defaults, I would, I would love this, you know? Next up is my default eyes. Okay, so these are actually new for me, and I wanted to show you guys these instead of the ones that I previously had. However, if you did like the ones I've had previously, if you watch my other videos, those are the adore eyes. If you just type Sims 4 adore eyes, you'll find them. I use the default ones. However, I found myself a lot of times just putting non-defaults over them. I don't know. I had them for a long time. I was kind of over them. And I find that I really like the look of like a little bit of a more realistic eye with the Maxis Match look. I like the Maxis Match look that is also detailed at the same time. So, you know, I like the realistic eyelashes. I like the realistic eyes. I like a skin that kind of just gives a little more like definition. I like to use a lot of things that just, you know, make them look a little more just unique, I guess. So these eyes to me are like the perfect, perfect, perfect eye. I'm obsessed. I love how realistic they look like in the corners. It's like, there's kind of like veins there, but the, oh my gosh, even this one, the hazel is stunning. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these new default eyes that I got. Like absolutely. I don't know. I think you will definitely love them if you like a more realistic eye without it being like completely alpha. But also at the same time, you could use these for an alpha sim as well. They kind of work for everything. So along with my default eyes, I do also want to show you guys some eyes that are not defaults because I don't think they come in a default option, but they do show up here. So you don't have to go put them on like in contacts, which I really like. It's just they won't be the ones that your sims are wearing by default, you know, like all the townies and stuff like that. But it's these ones here, I believe. Yes, they're at the bottom. Oh my god. So yes, I will have these linked too. I wish these came in a default version. I don't think they do unless I'm stupid, but I couldn't find any default version of these. I'm in love. Like, I just love them. You probably see me use these on my sims a lot. I'm so glad they show up here and they're not like a contact, even though they're not defaults. You know, at the same time, they kind of just feel like a default because you can just go and grab them right here. You don't have to go searching for them in your catalog. And I also love these. Like, it's kind of a tie. They both have this unique, beautiful touch to them and I'm in love. Next up, we have my default underwear. I use this and I love it. Again, I believe this is by a creator that deleted all their stuff, but someone has re-uploaded it, so the link will be there. But I have never looked back like ever since I got these. I can't even imagine using the default anymore. It seems like such a small thing, but I don't know. Like I just much, much prefer this. It's more realistic to me. It just looks better when you're dressing your sim. Like I'd much rather have this one. It's so cute. And it's just black and I don't know. I just like it. Next up, you guys might be noticing is these default toes. This is all also like kind of new for me and I don't know why I took so long to get it. So it's staying in my game and I had to include it in this video. You can see like all the toes are actually separated like the fingers, you know, it kind of matches better. <laughs> like I feel like the toes and the fingers always looked so different from each other. Like they weren't matching. I don't know why EA just gave us these like Barbie doll feet when like the hands are like more realistic. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I guess the feet were like an afterthought to them, but I'm telling you when your Sims wearing like sandals or heels, this looks so much better. Okay. The very last thing I want to share with you guys are these skin details. I know this is not a default at this point, 
it's practically a default for me because of how much I use it. Like it will be on all my Sims. I have tons of different skin details and all of that and like tons of skins that, you know, just look amazing. But I feel like something that's just become this staple to me that every single Sim I make, I need to do this step or they just don't feel like my Sim. Like I don't know what it is, but once I started doing this, I feel like my Sims started to look more different from one another. I started to grasp my Sim style more. I started to just fall in love with my sims again and yeah like the process i'm just obsessed so this detail here has so many different options there's ones for the lips um the corners of the mouth look here i love this it's the little things it makes such a difference to me every single row is going to do something different the nose ones are one of my favorites it just adds more definition and you're going to be able to pretty much add a whole bunch of these to your sim because as you scroll there's another one here. So, you know, we want her eyes to be darker, but then we also want her to have some more definition on her nose. But then we also want the definition to also carry onto her bridge. Oh, I think I just took something else off her. She just looked like a totally different sim. Did you just see that? You're going to have to be careful because some things, you know, you might have something else on your sims and it's going to take something else off. But yeah, this nose definition here is really cool. I love it. And yeah, like you can just keep going and just adding different things. There's also some with wrinkles too. So this is great if you're creating like a adult or elder. There's also some blush, which I don't really use because I'll typically do that with like makeup and stuff. But yeah, once I'm done, like adding a whole bunch of skin details in different categories, I feel like it just makes my sim feel like my sim and has the details that I want. I definitely use more skin details. Like usually I'll use these Tamo under eye bags like those I really, really like. So maybe I'll just link those as well for you guys because that's another thing that's almost on all of my sims. Of course, there's a lot of things I use here if you guys see anything. The Kajiko eyelashes, absolutely obsessed. I have started using some other eyelashes sometimes. There's some ones by Miko that I absolutely love as well. I think she's wearing a Miko pair. I'm not sure which ones. So I may just also go ahead and link down below just the Kajiko eyelashes and the Miko ones or just their pages in general so you guys can pick and choose like which ones you want. But before we get carried away, I'm going to stop there because now I feel like I am showing you guys so many different things. I can definitely do like a CC haul eventually where I can show like some more stuff other than just like mods and defaults. But with that said, you guys, that is going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As I said, all the links will be down below. Everything is free to download. And remember, this creative sim background is called Livin' if you guys are looking for which one it is in that list within the link that's going to be below. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in in my next video. Bye guys!